of every 12 jobs in the economy is connected in some way, shape, or form to what happens on the farm. Tom Vilsack is no stranger to the White House, nor to the role President Biden nominated him for. For Secretary of Agriculture, I nominate Tom Vilsack, an outstanding two-term governor of Iowa, the best Secretary of Agriculture I believe this country's ever had. Vilsack was born an orphan in Pittsburgh. I was uh, adopted into a family uh, where my mom struggled in my early life with prescription drug addiction and alcoholism. You, you see your parents struggle and what you want to be as a child is you want to make them happy. Just as they want to make you happy, you want to make them happy. And so at an early age you become, I think, focused on solving problems for people. His propensity to solve problems led him to run for class president while attending Hamilton College. After he lost, Vilsack swore he'd never run for office again. He'd meet his wife in college, a native Iowan, and they moved to Mount Pleasant, Iowa, where he practiced law and they raised their two sons, Jess and Doug. But in 1987, his political trajectory changed. The town council meeting in Mount Pleasant, Iowa ended last night with gunfire. The mayor was killed. So when tragedy struck in our community and the mayor of our town was, was tragically and, and brutally shot and killed, um, people in the community, uh, particularly some of the mayor's family, asked me to consider running for mayor. Vilsack ran and won, becoming the mayor of Mount Pleasant, Iowa, kick-starting his political career. From there, he became a state senator and then served as the Hawkeye State's governor for two terms. You always know whose side he's on. Tom Vilsack for governor. Before launching a bid for president in the 2008 cycle. I'm running for president today to replace the anxiety that we feel today and replace it with the hope of tomorrow. But had to drop out by February 2007, not even making it to the Iowa caucus. It is uh, clear to me uh, that we would not be able uh, to continue to raise money in the amounts necessary. But the guy who eventually won the party's nomination, and later the presidency, took a liking to Vilsack. To lead a Department of Agriculture that helps unlock the potential of a 21st century agricultural economy, I can think of no one better than Tom Vilsack. Ultimately, Vilsack became President Obama's longest-serving cabinet member and was praised as U.S. agricultural exports reached record highs in 2014. But by the end of Obama's second term, Vilsack felt his job was done. In a 2016 article, the Washington Post quoted him saying, I just sometimes think rural America is a forgotten place. And quote, there are days when I literally have nothing to do. Vilsack reportedly told Obama he wanted to resign in 2015, but Obama refused and tasked him with a new mission, overseeing the administration's opioid crisis in rural America. We want to make sure the next generation of health care providers are, are not working under the misapprehension or misunderstanding that these opioids are not addictive. Overdose deaths involving opioids continued to spike in 2016, but that trend had been in motion long before Vilsack's year-long mission to curb the epidemic. On the 2020 trail, Vilsack was one of the most coveted endorsers in Iowa and backed Biden. From the very first minute, on the very first day, Joe Biden can begin the process of repairing the, uh, the credibility that has been destroyed by President Trump, restoring our reputation, rebuilding the capacity of this great country to be the global leader we want it to be. It's rare to see a cabinet official return to a role in a different administration. Despite his experience, this nomination has faced criticism. And some people said he was not as sympathetic to, to your organization and black farmers as he should have been. Absolutely correct, Ro. And I want to go on record and say Tom Wilson uh, gave me a very, very hard time on all of those settlements. The black farmers settlement, the women settlement, the Hispanic settlement, and the Native American farmers settlement that all was on that uh, bill that I addressed earlier. Uh, Secretary Vilsack wasn't on the hill helping me. Activists hope to reform the USDA to better help low-income Americans, but they worry Vilsack favors large corporate farm interests, especially given his role as CEO of the U.S. Dairy Export Council. In 2009, Vilsack was confirmed by the Senate unanimously, but now 12 years later, he might face a tougher road to the cabinet with opposition from progressives in his own party. When Abraham Lincoln established the Department of Agriculture, he called it the People's Department. I look forward to making good on that moniker for all people as we build back better. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.